Hi, I'm Taylor with Agri Spray Drones. The Agris T20P is the best small platform drone on the market right now. Why? Well, let's look at three key features and then we'll look at some use cases that makes this statement true. All right, so first off, the Agris T20P is a little sister of the Agris T40, meaning the battery is the same. Well, can be the same. You can use a T20P battery, but why? Whenever you can use a T40 battery, which is twice the capacity of the, T4, of the T20P battery, meaning that the T20P has a way longer flight time with a load than the T40. All right, secondly, on the features, the components, the motor, the props, the ESCs, the antennas, the radar system, the camera, the load sensors, the RTK, those are all exactly the same as the T40. So if you already have a T40 and you want a smaller machine for doing smaller acreage application or something like that, then the T20P is going to have the same components largely as your T40. You cut down on how many parts you have to carry in stock. All right, last thing on the features that make this drone great. Obviously, it is much more transportable than the Agris T40. It's a lot smaller. It's whenever you fold it down, it's shorter. You've got uh, less motors here, so the weight is less. So one person can pick this thing up, put it in the back of a truck, and go to the field. And whenever you're doing spot spraying, that is key, which leads me into my next point here. So what about use cases? All these features are great, but why would you get a T20P instead of a T40? Well, maybe you wouldn't get one instead. Maybe you get one on top of. Think about this. If you've got a T40, that is a great drone for doing whole field application with you know coverage rates up to 40 acres an hour at a two gallon rate with the T40. That's great. You're not going to get that with a T20P. What the T20P has is flight time and transportability, meaning that if you want a drone that you can do spot spraying with, or you want a drone that you can do test plots with, uh, or you want a drone that you can do small acreage with and transportability in the back of a truck or on the back of a gator makes sense in those situations, that's where the T20P comes in. The flight time is really big here in terms of spot spraying and small acreage. Because if you're doing spot spraying and small acreage, you are flying a lot without spraying. You're flying to and from the field a lot. You are flying from spot to spot and you are turning a lot without spraying meaning they have a lot of flight time without emptying payload, which is where the T20P, larger battery, and longer flight time makes sense. We've got a hover time with a loaded tank on the T20P of 13 minutes or more. And that's without spraying anything. That's just flying around with a loaded tank. And whenever you're spraying something, you get a longer flight time. Now, when you combine this with the camera on here, which is the same as the T40 camera, 12 megapixel on a gimbal, that means you can tilt down, you can find those spots, find those weeds, and just manually spray them uh, as you go across the field. Or you can actually map. So just like the T40, it has mapping capability built in so that you can take this drone, it's the same system, so it flies automated across the field, maps out, takes those images, puts it back on the remote screen, and while you're in the field, right there, you can just circle those areas, make little missions for it, where those weeds are at, little weed spraying missions, and just go one to the next, to the next, to the next. There's some prescriptions that you can run with this too, just like the T40, and that makes a lot more sense in the T20P with a longer flight time. Think about test plots too. So if you wanna do replicated test plots and you have a lot of areas to hit, you don't wanna be dragging a trailer around as you go from one to the next. And you're gonna be getting that drone in and out of the truck a lot, which is where the T20P, lighter weight, makes a lot of sense. But here's the kicker. We are not sacrificing flow rate and we are not sacrificing swath width with the T20P. The T20P is almost the same width as the T40. We're using the same spray system, the same discharge rate as the T40. I mean, we can discharge 3.2 gallons per minute and we can get almost identical swath with the T20P. So for test plots, the T20P is going to be awesome. You can get those done super quick. Okay, I hope that answers all those questions about why the T20P makes sense. Let us know if you guys have any more. Thanks.